From here, draw the sword, extend it, left leg, draw back. Okay, we need to work drills. Do the lunging step first, pushing and drag. Ready. Keep the sword focused with the mirror, aim it right here. If I rush up at Jonathan, I ought to just fall. Catch that sword right, well, up to the high. All right, moving forward, ready? And go, 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 explosively, go. And on the about face. I've never really been instructed on this, but I think it's ready. We take a height from center. Move the leg in a complete circle around, so the left, so the right foot is still in front, ready? About face. Okay. Forward. Ready? Go. 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 And retreating. Ready? Go. Okay. Now, I'm retreating. It's the same. But I'll tell you the truth, this is analogous to your karate football. The back foot moves like so. Ready? And go. 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 Advancing. Ready? Go, 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 and taking the back leg now, and it's going to move in a circular manner. Ready? Go. Excellent. Okay. This time, we're going to move forward and slightly to the left, and we'll move, let's see, even to the right, and we'll move forward and slightly. Left. And go. Good. You can look at my sword and see which way we're supposed to go. Go. Step forward, try this. Just 
Hey Bear. Just read. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Blocking only. From here. And block. Arms in closer. Look, get them on as respect to back for our body. They always fix them up. That's what taught you. Ready? Then again. Go. 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 And this on the other side now. Ready? Go. 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 Keep your elbows a little tight. Go. Go. Cover the head. Go. Good. Side block from here. Ready. Go. 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 Other side. Ready. Go. 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 Excellent. Now blocking and countering. First one. Right here. I'm gonna block. And notice what I did. See how I pulled the sword? I think it was a Wednesday's makeup class. I gave it got a piece of cardboard. And I showed how if you try to push this blade through, it just won't go. You take the blade and you slide it and it's like cutting butter. Okay, ready? And block, counter. Stepping back, fellas. Let's do it again. Step back into the full back stance. Ready? Block, counter. Good. And again. Block, counter. Good. And we're going to the other side now. We're going to block here. Let me just block this side here. I'm sorry. Here. And then we're going to cut. And notice this time we're going to pull the front leg back. Okay? So it's here. Okay. Ready? And lock. Okay. Good. Again, block, cut, and block, cut, and block, cut. Very good, everybody. You know, if you think about the progress you've made since the beginning of the course, y'all look good. good. My compliments to you for your effort and focus. All right, from here, you're going to block. We're going to use a straight downward cut to the head, except for the pull. Okay. So we do that here. Cutting and notice. We go from here, strike, and draw the sword, putting the skull in half. And go. Good. Again. Go. Good. Go. One more. Go. And on the other side now. Ready? Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Block. Cut. Very good. <coughs> Take a couple of steps backwards now. Got a seat again. I would like to share something with y'all. I first saw this from my old friend, Akito and Kendo Master. Well, he was just a Kido Kendo black belt back then, like I was. But <clears throat> I'd started collecting swords at that time, and I've since used that and lost the original kit I had. That was over 22 years ago. But this is your traditional Japanese 
sword polishing kit. Actually, Century sells these. They are made in Japan. And I was so impressed with the way he did it. And you'll pardon me if I don't have his total Zen immersion. And he did it. And this one's a replica sword. Roll another have a little catch here. You have to loosen the catch first. It's kind of like hearing a gun cock. It's like a click. But when you heard that, you knew there was about to be business because after that was done, the sword could be drawn very rapidly. And this is a replica sword. It's 440 stainless steel, so yes, it would cut you. And it is a favorite dangerous weapon, but it's not a folded Japanese sword. Not that well. But this is crushed limestone. And this is the same one samurai back, gosh, in the earliest days. I remember when first I read the Hakukure, he talked about the weapons being dusted and polished. I didn't really believe put the dust off them. But you don't, you apply the dust. And I was very struck by the way that Izumi did it. Little tap in the part of limestone. Dust, brown line, crushed limestone. It's been polished with rice paper. Rice paper is just that, it's used for calligraphy, uh, Japanese watercolor, polishing sports. And simply, As stainless steel, this one really doesn't need much polish. I have some older swords, and I really have to work on them to tarnish off. Even though it's fairly clean, this is a clean piece of rice paper when I started. Final stage, and if you need to, you can also. Well, this one is just one fused thing. Like I said, it's a replica sword. But if the tang of the sword is here, you can hammer it back in at that point if it's come to this fit. In the final stage, this is clove oil. There's a clove oil fused because it's very light. Thin oil. And I've got a boiling rag that's just, the only difference is, Probably enough for the entire sword. side it gets bumped because the rag picks up the oil. I find that I polish and clean and, and at this point if you need to actually you should do this before you even start to clean it. Sharpen it. This is a whetstone. This is a diamond grit. It's the hardest level of whetstone you get. I find it does pretty well for this stuff. And I find that when I work on my swords, it has it's almost the same effect of meditation. You get very involved in the entire process with the little details. And to watch the Zen do it, it's almost like watching somebody conduct the Japanese tea ceremony. Claim to be at that level. It's fascinating and made an impression on me to this day. And I kept that, I 
kept that original set for years until it finally all the limestone was about exhausted and the rice paper was worn out. This one I have in color. I can trace somebody left it for the class. I kept it around and asked about it. Two or three semesters. For your own uh, bokens and things, if you ever want to do anything to it, uh, take a little furniture polish. Okay. Lemon oil is real good. Okay. But watch putting too much you know, on the handle. Okay. You get a nice shiny exterior to it. And that's really about all you need to do. It'll last for a long time. Quack things. Okay. Don't ever leave them out. Because either West Texas, like last night, you run. I just want to share that with you all. combinations. First face each other, make eye contact. Remember their safety is in your hands and all three of y'all go all bow together. And we salute and theirs is in yours. So let us be careful. Now the second session of this will actually hit each other with a pad of swords and a freestyle. Okay. But for now we don't need to pack each other. Okay. So let's all be careful. Whatever you do, don't poke somebody in the eye with the voking. Okay, why don't y'all two start? Selena, London, cross swords. Okay. Let's side face first. Switch in a second. Okay, we start from here. Now, we block cut where very good okay now because we need to get all right so ready watch what we did first he pulls the sword back and do what as we do in one step I want you to key out right before you strike slowly key out hey and you strike and here I just touched. I didn't whack. Let me see. Yes, sir. Ready. <clears throat> and pull back. And we make a key eye. I I and cut. You see how I took a little step forward and cut. Okay. You don't notice how I took the step forward as I cut. Yes, sir. It's like one step forward. Keep using these analogies, and I realize you've kind of taken karate to that extent before. Then one step control far, and you step back, yell, and you step forward to punch. This is following the same principle. Ready? And draw a sword back. Ki and strike. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Ready? Back, and strike. Yes. Nice. Remember, we're here. And yeah, we make this one. See the other foot's not, it's not way back here. But as I step, then I move forward. Okay. Okay. Ready? And ready? Pull the sword back. And key up. Ready? Go. 
when y'all are cutting, you know, follow through. As if you were doing it with lots of force. I mean, you mean that if you actually use lots of force. Yes. As if you were the same type of force. Ready? And. Hey! Hey! Yes! And again. Hey! Yes! Okay. Don't switch positions, just reverse roll. So this side will now strike. And this one will be blocked in here. Let me see. Ready? We'll watch it later. And pull sword back. He I cut it. Hey, hey. Block higher than you can work an ankle. Okay. Ready? And draw. He I cut it. Hey, hey. Good. Keep the arms in closer. Tight. Ready? Draw sword. He I cut it. Hey, hey. hey. Thank you. 
night in Monty Python. So we were doing Gotta get down to just his head. Oh, my shot. Ready? And draw. Cut. This. Again. And draw and cut. Again, one more. Ready? Draw and cut. Is. Is. Very good. All right. Move a bit this direction, please. As you'll notice, we're covering everything today that we've covered during the whole course. Next week will be final recital. Yay! Let me look on the syllabus. What's today? The 16th, isn't it? 16th is final review, 23rd is final skills presentation. Yeah, come prepared for a nice workout. We'll simply let everybody show how good they are this. All right, what we're going to do, you can move into a horizontal cut. Okay. And then he moves in again, and again, and yet again. Four times. Ready. Well, let's all start on the whack on this side. So, okay. Just one more thing. It will work. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Easy. Coming back this direction. Ready? Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four. Move and do it slow enough so they'll have a chance to block it. If they do not block it, not that well, you block the weapon with a stick. No. Control your weapon and they will do the same for you. Are we ready? Sir. 
we're going to do four cuts on the final block <coughs> counter. So we're going to just let them counter to the counter block. Once again, y'all continue this course the next six weeks. We'll do stuff like that. Okay? Ready? Begin. Keep going. is actually where our empty hand darts. The old arts of fencing is straight enough. It went the other way. I, mean, figure, I guess people always scrap and fall with their hands up. But it was after tool usage was developed that the martial arts began. Because it is very simple. Everything else we have done as people, okay, from hanging the first rock stick in a rock and using it for a lever, through putting his hand on the moon and going on the internet. Our externalization of tools. Martial arts is the internalization of tools. Here we taught you to think of your sword as an extension of your hand. The martial arts will do the same thing, but this is your sword. So, taking that extension of yourself. Four strikes at your own cadence. After the fourth block, you will count them. Ready? Go. Sharky, how are you? I'm ah, doing fine. How about you? I'm good. I've got a class to teach right now, but I'll yeah. chat with you here in a bit. Okay. Okay. What brings you to town, Sharky? Uh, this past month, I'm teaching the boxing over. Good, good. For my competitors, huh? There you go. Where over at uh, over at uh, Rosie's. Else, Rosie's place. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay, ready? Begin. Come back and say it. Okay. Ready? We the other one. Begin. Very good. Got each other. Get a quick break. Break. Drink some water. Come back. Yes. Ready? Salute. And draw your weapon slowly.
Kind of reminds me actually of Chen. It's something very eloquent and very complex in the analysis. Okay. Let's <coughs> appreciate some of the finer points of it now. Ready? As I said, the initial drawing of the sword is very important. This is where you put yourself in that realm. Okay. Mushin no mushin, no mindedness. Nothing exists. Draw back. Think about it. Somebody's running at you. Now look and check your angle. The back leg and the sword should be at the same angle. You step up and lock. See, you're on this end of it. And then we pull. Hey! Hey! Cutting. Then we come up, locking, strike, move the butt in, stab, come up, and then you cut the guy's head off. Hey! There. Okay. We'll come up. Okay. Block, step back, and watch cut, draw, slicing. Block, draw, slicing. Block, draw, slicing. And see, each time, look at the angle. Right. Same as the back plate. Now we go forward. Block and cut. Block, cut. <coughs> Block and cut. Come up. Okay, the opponent's coming from the front and behind. So, block it as we do the X stance. Now we dispatch the one in front of us and his buddies oh, here behind you. We yell. Okay. And notice, let's go back to here. Once more, we're here, drawing, and still drawing across. Slowly. Looking around for more opponents. Still aware. Remaining awareness is on Shin. Back up. And we'll salute. Good, okay, let's try it. Ready? And. Back. Begin. Just about at the same cadence. A little bit off here and there. Okay, ready? Salute. And draw the sword. Should be making the contact. And then it comes out slowly. Slowly. Foot and sword moved in unison. Right at throat level. 
Very good. Step back. Step, block, cut. Step, block, strike. Step, cut. Step, start position, and block, cut. Block, cut. Block, cut. Forward, block, cut. Block, cut. Block, cut. If you're in kata competition and you drop the weapon at any point during the kata, you do say, see, right? You lost your weapon in combat, the same thing would happen. But very often you will hear people who are performing say, I will put the staff down or the knee jacket down at one point in the kata and pick it back up. Then you're allowed to. And there's some interesting ways that I think the staff kind of started. They take the foot, flip the staff, put it on your toes, and flip it up. I know, Sharky, you talking about that. Show me the, the bow kata years ago. Okay. Everybody ready? Now, and begin. Shake the arms a bit. Breathe deep. We've got time for one more today.
want to make yourself proud. Make me proud too. All right, let's see. I'll begin a sign up list next week for the second half of this course. This same thing, you can get a padded phone book with it this time. Unless nobody has any more to do. What if I just wrap some padding around my. I guess you could. It wouldn't be very tactile. It doesn't work on the side. Deep breath. Again. One more. Thank you so much, all of you attended this hard work today. It's been a joy teaching you all. Look forward to the second session this summer. All right. Thank you. Kickboxing will begin soon.